When you look outside right after it's rained, what can you sometimes see? When the sun's rays interact with water droplets, white light from the sun is separated into color bands forming a rainbow. In science, this is called spectral separation. Holding a glass prism in his hand, Sir Isaac Newton first defined this phenomenon by projecting the brilliant colors of the spectrum onto his wall. Three centuries later, we apply this phenomenon through spectrometers to collect information for virus studies, crop health, color matching, and more. Like a prism, a spectrometer separates light into its various wavelengths or color bands. Combining an entrance port or slit and some means of separating light into its spectral components such as a prism, a grating, or an interferometer, we get the same spectral separation observed in a rainbow or in Newton's prism. Replace Newton's eye with a modern recording device, such as a detector or an image sensor, and you now have the means to detect, observe, and measure the resulting image. Many of the components that go into the spectrometer from Hamamatsu are manufactured originally by Hamamatsu. This vertical integration means we have high reproducibility of exceptional spectrometers and offer the option for different levels of customization. With so many more pieces to make a spectrometer than a simple prism, you might expect a spectrometer to be very large. In many cases, you could be right. But at Hamamatsu, through our expertise in nanotechnology, we've successfully taken our spectrometer designs and made them micro-sized. We've even made spectrometers that are small enough to be used in a smartphone. So how do these extremely compact spectrometers compare to their larger predecessors? Similar to a typical spectrometer, our smallest spectrometer, the Surface Mount Detector or SMD spectrometer, contains an input slit, grating, and image sensor. What's cool is that the entrance slit is etched onto the CMOS image sensor using microlithography techniques. The grating is formed by nano imprinting a concave surface, and the recording device is a CMOS image sensor employing state of the art active pixel technology, which makes it super sensitive. The use of a folding mirror has made this spectrometer so small that it's earned the title as this video is being made as the world's smallest gratings based spectrometer. Combine its small size with its high shortwave near infrared sensitivity, and you have the ideal spectrometer for smartphone based ripeness measurements. But if you need a compact spectrometer at shorter wavelength ranges, in this case, we've created the micro spectrometer. Just like the SMD spectrometer, the micro spectrometer benefits from Hamamatsu's excellence in nanotechnology. This device contains a micro etched input slit, a nano imprinted grating, and an active pixel CMOS image sensor. These components are forever sealed into a hermetic package, preventing deterioration from dust, humidity, and moisture. Like a light bulb, no air gets in or out of this micro spectrometer. These spectrometers compare in size to a coin you might find in your pocket, making them ideal for handheld spectroscopy. So far, we've seen how spectral separation was first mechanized through Newton's prism, how this technique is captured through the components that make up a spectrometer, and the various device designs throughout the years. From large benchtop units implemented in research and development labs and fixed industrial settings, to the microspectrometer, introducing the ability to perform portable measurements in various operating conditions, and the SMD spectrometer, paving the way for future spectroscopy applications to sit in the user's hand. We've shared just a few examples today of where and how these compact spectrometers can be used, the size and reliability of these devices, open opportunities for pocket spectrometers, crop ripeness, fat measurement, point of care and soil analysis, but there are a plethora of many more applications to explore. Contact your local sales office to learn about these spectrometer offerings and many more other options. Thanks for watching.